What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today We've got three brand new diamonds to show you and a new set eight headliners pack to open up We're gonna open up all five of them like we do every single time right now. It's every Tuesdays and every Friday, so it's actually kind of making us grind a little bit more so we can get more stubs Today's like goal, it does help the videos out, it does help the channel grow, so if you want to see my growth on the channel, and if you want to see the videos grow as well, our like goal today on this video is 100 likes, so as soon as you see this video, hit that like button. Also, don't forget to leave a subscribe and post notifications on. We're about to hit 32,000 subscribers on the channel, so thank you guys so much for that. But today, three brand new diamonds. We're going to show you the headliners diamond first real quick. Obviously set eight already. We've got the 91 overall Dale Murphy. Usually he's like a day one BR flawless, but this year we actually get to pick him up in a pack and he's probably actually going to be a lot cheaper than previous years. So if you've wanted to play with the Dale Murphy last year for sure, he was a he was a uh, BR flawless, I believe. I think he was like another 91 overall BR flawless. It might have been a 90, but here we go. Center fielder, Dale Murphy. Amazing fielding. So if you need someone in center field, let's see if anyone's pulled him just yet. So let's see if um, what his price is. 91 overall. Dale Murphy. So a lot of these headliners, it seems like they, they sit around the 31,000 range. Obviously, the guys like Vita Blue, they're going to be more expensive because they are a little bit better. Now, I'm going to try to pack him. I don't know if I want to get pick this Dale Murphy up for myself or my own team. But if I pull him today in the headliners packs, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll try him out for one game or so. And maybe probably just sell him. It just doesn't look like someone that I want to pick up for the squad. So next two, the next two diamonds, I'm not actually, I'm actually not sure if we got any more than these three, but the next two I'll show you in a second. So today, four, seven, battle royale rewards, the so two of them, and then the headliner. So it looks like just those three diamonds were added today. So, but the next two are two battle royale rewards. The first one is a brand new legend this year, Dwight Evans, another right fielder. So kind of weird that they do two outfielders on the same day because like right now Dwight Evans does look a lot better obviously a little bit harder to get this Dwight Evans so but it's pretty pretty similar to the Dale Murphy that they dropped today 91 fielding 97 arm strength hitting stats are a little bit more balanced on this Dwight Evans card but if you guys are Red Sox fans out there this could be a pretty cool card to have on your collections wouldn't be my first choice if I were to go flawless again this year would not be my first choice so next up the last diamond is John Smoltz so now this is someone that I probably would pick up if the price is right and if I do get a 12 and 0 this year. Last year we only went 12 and 0 one time, but hey, we're gonna work for it this year. I feel like we're a lot better at hitting this year, so it's gonna really, I think it's gonna help us get 12 and 0 a couple times this year. But slider, four seamer, splitter, change up, John Smoltz, closing pitcher. They've been giving us a lot of lefties in the pen these last this last week or so. So now we get a righty John Smoltz. I really like his other card the starting pitcher card so i think this one's gonna be very good too let's check out the quirks real quick cheesy untouchable stingy grounded control artist and pressure cooker as an 86 velo 98 break but all around good control good home runs per nine 95 hits per nine and 103 case per nine on this card so overall going to be pretty good right now someone's got him at a sell now at 126 thousand. so that's probably kind of the average for all the flawless um, rewards right now can also get him in battle royale to use if you want to try him out All right, so the set high headliners have not been good for us at all um, We're gonna do probably let's do let's do a 20 pack bundle today and We're gonna do all five headliners if we get lucky if we pull another major diamond and a Dale Murphy card I would say this is a win, but if we pull just a Del Dale Murphy today I don't I don't call that a win at all so five we're gonna do five standards and then a headliner and then two headliners at the very end of this video here we go remember make sure you guys leave likes on the video if you want more pack openings just like this one support the pack opening videos if you guys want to see more we got three and then headliners on the way 
I don't think I can uh, top last week's pack opening with the headliners on Friday when we pulled Mike Trout. I don't know if we can top that unless we pull Trout and another huge diamond. But set eight, first one, we're two. We only have two out of all the sets so far. Two diamonds, and we pulled every single one so far. We get a gold in the first one. Nicholas Castellanos getting some stubs back right there. But headliners have not been good at all. 2 for 35 is not a good ratio. Drop your ratio down below if, if you have a better pack luck with the headliners than I do. But as of right now, only two diamonds so far. And I'm actually kind of sad about it. All right, standard packs, two more. Another goal, we get Andrew Miller. I remember when his price was 3K at the beginning of the year. Might have been actually like 4K or something. SDS is probably like, Atrin, you pulled Trout last week. You don't need to pull any more diamonds this week. We're not going to give you any. I really hope that's not the case because these are hard-earned stubs. These are hard-earned stubs. And I, th I think a lot of you guys can relate at home when opening packs. Like, you don't want to open packs, but then again, yes, you do. And it just it just gets you spiraling down. Hi, my name is Atrin. And I am a packed pack addict. I'm here at this meeting to help myself get better at not opening packs. <laughs> Alright, so th through, oh my god, through three headliners packs, just a couple of golds. These packs have not been good at all today. I'm, I'm banking on that silver pack. I'm banking on this silver pack right here. You see that? One in 399. One in 399 is going to happen today we're gonna we're gonna get one of those standard the 20 standard packs were not good the 20 standard packs were not good today oh man all right let's do let's do one set headliners we'll do the silver and then we'll do the gold come on god that hurts so badly that hurts so bad to not see anything out of all the stubs we spent today kyle seeger 466 stubs one more gold, one more gold player, and one more set. Eight headliners. Do we bring out the gnome? We're bringing him out. We are bringing out our lucky gnome from last year. Here we go. I'm going to hold him while we open up this gold pack. Come on, gnomey. You got this, bro. Ooh. Gold pack, Taylor Rogers. Down to the final. Set eight. Can't believe we're saying this again, but we're about to get skunked. Again, set eight headliners. We're two for 30, 39 now. This will be our 40th set headliners pack. And only two diamonds have been pulled in a one out of 10. One out of 10. Ah. Yikes. Yikes. That is big yikes. All right, well, I mean, we tried. We tried. I think we can go. If we want that Dale Murphy, we can go and buy him. He's probably going to go down in price pretty quick. Yeah, he's already down to 23K. Not a lot of people are going to want this card, so too many people are going to be trying to sell. I'm going to say this Dale Murphy card is going to sit maybe around the 20K range, maybe even lower, but the Dwight Evans and John Smoltz for sure. John Smoltz is going to probably be one of the more expensive ones. I don't expect the Dwight Evans to be more than 120K. I don't expect them to be more expensive, like the more expensive than like the Andrew Miller, Jim Edmonds, or even like the Joe Adele. So I think John Smoltz is the guy to go for. So I'm going to go out there. I'm actually going to try to do some BR on stream. So speaking of streams, make sure you all don't forget to follow me on my Twitter as well. That'll be somewhere on your screen here. Don't forget to leave a like. Let's crush that like goal of 100 on this video. I'm not sure if I asked for 100 or 150, but um, no me disappointed today. I don't know how many more times I'm going to be opening up the headliners packs. They're just not good for me this year. So it's almost not even worth it even for videos it's almost not even worth it going through all those stubs to get nothing but guys if you enjoyed the video today don't forget to leave a sub with post notifications on and check out these other two videos right here thank you so much for the support 32,000 stubs is on its way and then we can work towards that 33,000 thank you so much for watching today and as always i'll catch you in the next one